What's up guys? This video is gonna be all about getting back on track and how I do that. Basically, the idea behind it is um, I was sick over this past whole week and I had like a cough and a cold and all that kind of thing. Um, and I pretty much didn't really do a very good job of getting back on track after the holidays to begin with. So I'm kind of starting from scratch from day one and t today right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do throughout this video to just get back into it. Planning my macros, planning my, my um, training sessions, and what I do, I think I'm gonna run to the store and grab a couple things that I'm gonna need today. So, I'll take you guys along and show you what I do. I'm still kind of sick, so I'm bringing my day quilt with me in my gym bag, just in case I start packing away during the session. So since today I'm starting fresh, I haven't worked out in over about a week. It's terrible. I hate I hate not working out that long. But I've also been in school, so like I've been just running myself thin between schoolwork and being sick. It was just crazy. So I don't have excuses. I'm gonna start fresh today. I'm doing legs and glutes. Um, I'm gonna show you what my actual workout split is because I wrote it all out. And it's very motivating to be able to have like an actual plan and to you know be like, all right, Wednesday, which is today. Wednesday, I'm doing glutes and hamstrings. I'm gonna do probably deadlifts. I'm gonna ooh, ooh. tripod's falling. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me figure this out. All right, back in action. I'm definitely gonna film whenever I can, but um, I can't really promise too much because it's like 5:45 at night, so. That means it's gonna be a really crowded session. My fave. So we'll see how it goes, but um, I like to start with, when I'm fresh, I like to start with a heavy, heavy um, day, like glutes or something like that. Something that I enjoy training, so I kinda get myself back into it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't start with back or something, because I honestly hate training back, and it would just not be, it wouldn't be as motivating as doing like glutes, getting that pump. You know? Yeah. Headed to the gym. Woo woo! I'm excited. I haven't been to the gym in so long. It's really fun. Alright, I'll see you there. The fact that I park all the way across the parking lot is a bad sign. There we go. It's you and me. It's a Saturday night. We stayed in tonight, your hands are on me And when we're lying there, you got me thinking that I don't wanna be anywhere but here I don't wanna be anywhere but next to you I don't wanna be anywhere but here Love me down, love me down, down, down Love me down low carb no carb protein waffles and if you guys don't know the recipe for that it's in my very very first vlog which to be honest I don't even it's you know your first like my first video is probably a total clusterfuck at this point but um 
whatever it's okay if you want to watch it you can if you don't want to watch it then I'll tell you really quickly what's in it it is just a scoop of protein powder a dash of baking powder one whole egg and a dash of water and that's all you mix it up and you put it on you grease your waffle iron you put it on your waffle iron and then boom get that and I like to top it with these pancake syrup, Walden Farms style. This stuff is sugar free, calorie free, everything free. And it tastes really good. It has like a good thick texture to it. I also use Kerry sugar free syrup and that's like I'll only use it in a pinch if I can't find the Walden Farms. But I'm gonna heat it up in the microwave. I'm gonna put it on top. I'm so excited. I tried for the record. I'm trying one of nutrition protein powder. For this one, it's like a cinnamon French toast flavor. Sounds really good. But my recommendation for, for these waffles, um, as far as consistency goes, is Quest protein powder. So I use Quest for all my baking, and then I use like anything else for protein shakes um, or whatever. So that's it. Mm hmm. So today I want to talk about my five top tips for getting back on track and whether that means you just didn't really start back up over the new year or if you just had a really bad week eating or if you went and party for the Super Bowl like I did or if you were sick or anything like that. This is getting back on track or if you also haven't started your workout fitness, um, fitness lifestyle at all and you, you were looking for a way to start, this is how to do it. So step number one is hydrate. That's the first thing. Flush out all the toxins in your body and you'd be surprised at how much water your body actually needs. So I strive to drink a gallon of water a day. I just pick up a gallon of water at Publix or wherever and I fill it up and I kind of I get a new one every week just so that it doesn't get gross. But um, have a gallon of water and also have water bottles and a way to bring water with you if you don't want to carry a gallon around. Uh, step number two is motivate yourself by making a workout plan and a training, like a training workout plan and a diet plan. So whether you want to do, if, if it's your macros, flexible dieting, which is what I do, or if you want to make yourself a meal plan and food prep and have chicken, rice, and broccoli every day or fish or, you know, kind of um, making your own food plan, that is really important. The third major tip that I have is to set a goal for yourself. So whether that is, you know, lose three pounds this month or maybe hit a PR for a per personal record for um, squats or for something like that, like a deadlift. Uh, maybe you want your goal to be just making sure you hit the gym four times a week, like hands down four times every single week, no matter what, that is your goal. So figure out what exactly is most important to you because weight or losing numbers on the scale may not be actually what you need to do or it may be more difficult than you imagine, especially if you're putting on muscle and losing fat at the same time. A lot of times your weight will actually just fluctuate and kind of stay around the same number while your actual body's changing. So. Um, that kind of goes into my other my other comment about that is you want to start at a recognizable place. So see, see exactly where you are right now. See maybe um, weigh yourself now, give yourself your measurements, figure out exactly, do a self-assessment about where you're at right now. And that way you can have something to to compare it to when at the end of the month or end of two months just to kind of see how your progress is going. Step number four is going to be one of my favorites and that is get some supplements that's going to help you be motivated to get to the gym. So pre-workout is something I really recommend. It helps you just get a little pump up before you, have, you go to the gym. Um, BCAAs, which are branched chain amino acids, that helps with muscle recovery and just having a good energy throughout the day. Um, the other really important supplement that I suggest is a multivitamin. So what I take personally is a this um, GNC Women's Ripped Vitapack program. Picked that up the other day just to kind of get myself back on track as well. And let me tell you, I love that this program or whatever this is, this box. Um, it comes with a little packet of supplements. You see right there. Um, it has a multivitamin. CLA, which is something that maintains lean muscle mass. Um, it has a beauty and water um, pill, so basically it just helps you balance your water, and that that really affects your weight. So, if the if the number on the scale is important to you, not retaining water is a really good way to get rid of that. 
and then it also contains a thermo inferno which is just like a fat burner basically and it helps you burn more calories throughout your day and the good thing about that is that it's a stimulant based so that i like that some people don't but um i like it because it just kind of wakes you up and you have a little pump going on throughout the day so that's really nice um it is kind of pricey that's one thing it was like 65 dollars for that one and it is also the pills are quite large and i'll put a little clip of what they look like in my hand right there um, and then the other downside is that they you have to make sure you eat when you take these pills because they'll make you feel nauseous if you don't have a full stomach but I mean the, the results are amazing I absolutely love them so that's what I recommend but a good multivitamin is essential to no matter how good your, your diet is you're definitely not getting all the vitamins you need and that is huge very last tip is start today don't start tomorrow, not tonight, not in the morning. Start today, right now. I don't care what you ate for breakfast, if you had cake all day long, if you drank last night, if you're hungover today, start today. Change your life today because life is short and why waste a single moment of it being unhappy with how you are, unhappy with the way that you're living your life. So those are my five top tips to getting back on track or starting up your program. Um, I'm gonna go hit the gym right now and follow my own advice. And I will see you guys in the next clip. The last and one of the most important tips I have for getting back on track is making a workout plan. So you see here, I just wrote everything out um, Monday through Sunday. And the idea behind this is just to rotate doing upper body and lower body. So Monday I have quads and glutes. I'm going to be doing plyometrics and heavy squats that day. Um, Tuesday I've got shoulders and chest. It's going to be a more of a push day and then I'm also going to rotate and put in shoulders and back every other week because sometimes Tuesdays I can go to the gym and Thursdays when I'm planning on doing back I sometimes can't because I have meetings and stuff so I'll make sure I rotate that every week and get it in equally. Wednesday I've got hamstrings glutes, Thursdays back and arms or then shoulders and arms and I'm going to throw abs in there. Um, Friday I'm doing hit cardio and abs which is like sprints, stair runs, things like that. Saturday I'm going to be doing moderate pace cardio uh, mainly because Saturday I'll have worked Friday night before and get home at like 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm usually exhausted so sometimes I don't work out on Saturdays and I can just maybe I can just take a walk around my neighborhood or take a jog but it's just gonna be a moderate pace cardio and then Sunday is my rest day or if I missed one of these days I'll do that whatever day I missed or I'll do cardio if I missed a cardio session so that is um, the basic guidelines. I'd honestly recommend just kind of using this sort of format, especially if you're kind of starting out and it helps to rotate upper body and lower body um, so you don't get really sore on one thing, you know. All right guys, so I'm making meatloaf for a meal prep today. And the main point of this is to show you that you don't have to eat chicken all the time because I definitely get tired of chicken. So what I started with was ground turkey and I have some of this meatloaf seasoning. I like to half my recipes because I can't eat two pounds of this. It's just, I get tired of it. So I have half of this package in there. I also got the less sodium because less sodium is better. Um, one egg, and then on the package, I'm just following this little um, recipe and ask for a quarter cup of dry breadcrumbs. And what I do instead is just put in some quick oats. This is a trick from my mom. And I'm not going to measure this, I'm just going to do this. So now, blah, 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 blah. just have to mix all this together. You can't be afraid of the turkey. You gotta get in there. So you just want it to be thoroughly mixed. This looks pretty good. And then, I'm gonna wash my hands. Wait, no. Actually, first I'm just gonna dump it right in my pan. It's already greased. And hopefully nothing falls. Put it right on here. Shape it. I've seen Paige Hathaway do this, and you can do like cupcake or like muffins. Does that make sense? So like little meatloaf muffins if you want to carry with you. I don't really care about that. Put it right in here. Wash my hands. So now that it's in the pan, I'm going to top it with ketchup and just kind of put it on there. And this is optional. Actually, the ketchup is optional too, but I like it better that way. And I like to add barbecue sauce. It's 
That makes it taste even better. There we go. This is way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just gonna bake it at 375 for about 30 minutes and check it right after that. Sure, it's just beeped. We're checking it right now. See if it's done. I checked it at 30 minutes and it was still pretty, um, still raw inside, so I put it under six minutes in. So, there we go. So, I just kind of make sure it's lightly brown inside and then it's good. It's ready.